Okay, here's an uh, example of the type of uh, atmospheric effects that I might put in with one of my tornado simulations in the near future. And the reason I use this type of effect is because I can run these in real time. As, and with the, if you've seen some of the tornado simulations, they'll run it real time at the same time as this if I want. So it's a really cool technique to be able to use. And though it doesn't give, I can't do you know photorealistic rendering in real time. You can generate some pretty nice things if you learn how to use uh, your colors and your lighting, right? Because a lot of times, like even when I used to storm chase for a long time, a lot of it was all about that that colors and the atmospheric feel and you know that really brought the mood to life it wasn't so much about that exact shape model and stuff like that so this type of stuff can really help in your scene and when I finally get my sci-fi animator.com website up and running hopefully by the end of the month if I do enough eBay sales I'll, um, I'll post a lot of the tutorials that I'll have basically what I'll have is many many free tutorials still coming down the pipeline many new free tutorials per month and then I'll have a whole series of specialized paid tutorials that are geared for more specific special effects those are more intermediate and advanced tutorials for professionals uh, the advanced tutorials are geared more towards applications of uh, math science and engineering but you're required to know uh, intermediate blender skills and the intermediate tutorials you have to have intermediate blender skills and but they're not quite as uh, complicated math science wise so they're ha they're pretty much designed for everyone but I cover a whole range of subjects from uh, tornadoes and hurricanes and floods and photography and optics and maybe things like fractal geometry and differential geometry and of uh, yeah, just a large medieval weaponry, uh, modern warfare, and very they're very specialized and unique kind of uh, applications that you can do with Blender. A lot of it requires at least intermediate Blender skills, and the advanced re tutorials require at least reasonably strong skills in trigonometry and calculus as well. But that's why I have a lot of free tutorials on my website for both. Uh, Blender and Mathematics and I'll be posting a lot more of both of those type of tutorials so it'll help you get a technical edge for being an animator because if you've noticed over the years that it always turns out that when you see these really nice cool animation effects that show up on uh, for computer graphics they're almost always done by um, scientists and physicists and mathematicians and engineers and people like that because they're always on the cutting edge doing the cool stuff and then it filters down to the artists and illustrators who can then take it and make really really cool stuff as well so um, yeah my, it'll be interesting I'll have that website up and running soon and I'll have a lot of examples for each type of tutorial series and, uh, and I'll, I'll post more here in the near future okay well that's it for now and I'll see you in the next video